Hey everyone, it's Kai from Cool Collectibles back again for another review. This time it's the Hot Toys MMS 376 Han Solo and Chewbacca two-figure set from The Force Awakens. Um, and overall, it is a pretty damn good set uh, with lots of accessories, much like the uh, first A New Hope two-figure set as well. Um, now, uh, I guess there's been a lot of controversy around the head sculpt of the Chewbacca. Um, and as you can see, it's a... Uh, Probably well deserved in its controversy, but uh, we'll get to that shortly. I will um, split up these two into two separate reviews, and um, I'll probably start with Chewbacca just because everyone's probably more interested in that. Uh, with the Han Solo, um, I did want to, to get that just purely because of the head sculpt and the fact, of course, um, that it was his final uh, role in the Star Wars saga, essentially, um, uh, while he's alive anyway. <laughs> um, and the head sculpt is pretty damn good. Um, and I did get the two-figure set because um, I would always think that uh, Han was incomplete without his uh, sidekick. So, um, despite it uh, having its uh, controversies, um, overall I am pretty happy with um, uh, both of the figures. So, I'll go through um, everything um, as to why that is, um, and I'll start with the Chewbacca. So, um, hold on, I'll be back in a second. Alright, we'll start with the easy things, uh, being the accessories. I'll just uh, get him out of the way. He is pretty damn big. Uh, well, I'm not actually sure if he's uh, even a slightly bigger than the original figure um, or taller, but um, we'll do a comparison in a second. Um, now the bandolier is the first accessory, and as always, uh, Hot Toys' uh, leather or fake leather sort of look is uh, very good, and so the tailoring on this is quite nice. Um, I do like uh, the strap here, which is uh, fully sort of um, uh, stitched and so on. For all of the little cartridges and their little slots um, you can remove them but um, I wouldn't uh, recommend doing that in case you want to sit here for a while and uh, put them all back in uh, but overall the design of this is uh, quite nice um, it is different to the original of course with um, uh, the cartridges being a lot darker and uh, and so on and the pouch is slightly different as well but uh, I'll show you that in a second uh, his bow caster now I actually thought this was going to be exactly the same as the a New Hope version, but uh, again, it is uh, quite different um, in uh, a few ways. Um, now, I'm not sure, I haven't gone in to check if uh, this is uh, totally movie accurate or if uh, they've just made differences for the sake of differences, but um, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt and uh, say that uh, they have, um, and I'll show you the differences to the original bowcaster in a second. Um, it does come with his uh, shoulder or his arm bandage um, that's put on him in the movie. Um, I'll, I'm not sure if I'll bother putting it on to be honest, but uh, I guess to be a bit more specific to the movie um, He'll probably uh, have that look um, just to differentiate it a bit uh, It also comes with the three bombs um, That they use to plant around the place before they blow it up and uh, this is the detonator that uh, he uses as well So you, you do have specific hands to to hold these um, accessories so um, it's not too bad um, and they are fairly nicely sculpted as well so with the two pack it does come with um, the stand so this is the usual um, Force Awakens style stand um, but with the two pack it does come with the additional uh, snow attachment piece which uh, just sort of somehow at the front maybe like that uh, sits like that uh, to give it that uh, snow look. I probably won't even bother using that because I won't be displaying the Han Solo with the blue extra jacket um, and I'll probably just uh, leave it like this um, for that look. The hands now these are the spare hands and when you look at it um, I think they have really made the fur far too light and orange uh, when I look at these hands, the only thing I think of is um, a bloody orangutan or something like that. So, <laughs> And I don't think uh, from what I can remember and I've seen of the movie, he, his fur did not look this light and this orange. Um, it looks particularly worse in sort of bright white light. Under natural light, it's not too bad. Um, but uh, yeah, these hands um, and the fur are probably... One of the worst features of the figure, I think they've uh, gone from the original being too dark 
uh, to this one being too light and orange. The last accessory for Chewbacca is uh, similar to the one that they included with uh, the A New Hope version with this little comb that you can use to sort of brush the hair and the hair is pretty uh, robust I guess it doesn't peel off as you brush it um, or anything like that so similar to the A New Hope um, it's pretty good um, and I would definitely recommend uh, spraying a bit of water just to soften it up and loosen it up a bit and then just uh, brushing it um, in various directions to to get that fur flowing the way um, it should for for natural looking fur but uh, I'll give you guys a closer look at the figure now alright so here is the figure and on the face of it people um, have had a lot of complaints about the head sculpt I'll just move it up a little bit um, but uh, I have seen some photos where it does look absolutely terrible uh, but I have to say I think that the one that I've got um, isn't as bad as um, others that I've seen um, the jawline everyone has complaints about the gap between the nose so this bloody gap between the bottom of the nose and the top of the lip um, is uh, definitely too large um, in the movie I don't think uh, his, the gap was that big but also in the movie and in some of the prototype photos for the figure itself the black shading along the uh, this bit here is darker and that sort of hides it a little bit um, and gives it a, a bit more of a, a I guess a, a natural chewy look that we're used to um, whereas some of the ones that uh, we saw out of the original batch from uh, Hong Kong uh, this was very orange much like the hands and uh, that sort of accentuates the puffiness and that gap but uh, on mine it's not too bad I, I don't think um, you know people have said I've tried to justify the purchase or, or something like that by saying it's not as bad as as I think but um, you know I did see this up close in person when I was at Frank and Sons uh, a couple of weeks ago and the one that they had on display was uh, pretty terrible um, and it uh, did not look um, like this it, it was very puffy and orange um, and I think uh, the one that I've got because of its coloring um, is uh, definitely a better look um, and I think from the side either from that direction or from this direction um, and maybe even from maybe a further up angle like so I think it uh, resembles Chewbacca uh, a bit better so I think the worst shots are definitely front on or maybe from the top um, but uh, overall I'm not too uh, disappointed with mine and I guess you know I, I was a uh, my expectations were lowered based on the original photos that I've, I've I saw, um, but uh, the version that I've got here isn't too bad. Now, the difference that they made for this particular figure from the original is the bottom jaw also uh, moves, and so you can open a little bit. Now, I can't really open mine too much to be quite honest, and I'm not going to try and force it, but that's probably as wide as I can and get mine. Um, and I've seen photos where it probably does look better with the mouth slightly more open um, like he's screaming which uh, sort of hides and gives that optical illusion of the the gap here not being so big so uh, if you can try and uh, open it up as much as you can and also uh, just like with the original uh, Chewbacca figure um, they they had glued the fur down underneath on the lower jaw here quite close and to give him that uh, bit of a, a snout um, so if you peel this away a little bit from from the jawline here uh, just like I did on the A New Hope or many collectors did um, it actually gives him more of that bearded look um, that you see in the movie so um, that uh, will accentuate his likeness a bit more as well so um, others have tried to darken it or um, done a lot of modding where they've actually pretty much peeled away the whole uh, scalp and uh, done some mods to the underlying uh, sculpt to, sh to, to make this smaller there's no there's absolutely no way that I'm going to make that sort of mod on, <laughs> on this figure because I would definitely screw that up even more than uh, Hot Toys have already uh, so I'm definitely not going to do that but um, overall I'm not too uh, I, and, and, and I'm being honest I'm not too disappointed with the sculpt that I've got now with the A New Hope version um, I'll just bring that across and just give you a comparison because I don't think that the original version is that much better if better at all Alright, I'll try and get these guys as close together as I can um, without having to change the pose of my original one too much. And as you can see, the original one is far, far darker in fur uh, than the new 
Force Awakens version. Now, I guess in the movie, um, the original trilogy, he was, he does seem quite dark, but I think um, uh, I have seen people try to put some sort of powder or something to lighten up the fur around the eyes and around the jaw, um, and that did improve the likeness. Um, but uh, in terms of that gap between the nose and the top lip, I honestly don't think there's much of a difference. And if you futz the fur a little bit, I mean, the, you can see the top lip showing a bit there. And so if I was to sort of futz around with that a little bit, um, I don't think there's that much of a difference. So I just think uh, a lot of people haven't really focused on that lip because of the dark fur and how it's hidden, you know, with the dark nose and everything else in his face. Uh, you don't really notice it. And in terms of overall likeness, I mean... You know, I've seen people futz their Chewbacca where it looks pretty damn perfect. And I'm sure people could futz this one to look pretty damn perfect as well. So, overall, I wouldn't be... Uh, I don't think I, I can honestly say that the A New Hope version is better than the Force Awakens. Um, they both are not perfect. Um, and for me, uh, they're both... Uh, I guess, you know, people have said, you know, is it really good enough? And are we collectors just letting Hot Toys get away with it? But I think in terms of overall what they've achieved with the figure, um, I can honestly say that I'm happy enough. Um, they could have done better with that jawline. Um, but uh, I don't know if it was just a manufacturing thing or something in production. or It, it really doesn't come down to the, the, the sculpt itself, I don't think. Um, but, you know, to get that sort of uh, fur to fold back like that across the moor, uh, maybe they just had to, to glue it and have to have that extra bit of space um, in this sort of 1-6 scale. But uh, overall, when I compare the two, I don't see that this version, uh, the new version, is that much worse than the original. And, you know, if people were to peel this fur away a bit more along the, uh, the jawline there, mine's really sort of still stuck right back against the, the, the jawline, so he looks like he's... I don't know if it's like a monkey or a wolf or something. It just doesn't have that pure Chewbacca look. Um, he's instantly recognisable, of course, because of everything else on him. But uh, either or, um, I, you know, I, I could sort of, I, I guess, argue the point that that is a younger version and that is an older version. I do wish that the fur overall on the original was lighter and the fur on the new was darker because at the moment, uh, one looks like he's... Uh, been burnt, and the other one looks like he's uh, been rolling around in the uh, the uh, the bad sort of uh, fake tan salon, and looks very very orange. So overall, um, for the fur and the the likeness, um, I think Hot Toys could have done a better job. They could have done a better job, particularly with the color. I think if the color was better, um, I think the complaints would have been less. But uh, from a, from a likeness perspective, I don't think uh, one is uh, too much better than the other. Oh, before I forget, I'll just do a quick comparison of the bow casters here. Um, and I'm not sure if uh, you'll be able to see too much unless I put it forward here. So the curve of the bow part here is definitely different. It's more pronounced on the original version. And the dimensions of the rifle itself, the overall length is pretty much the same. But um, the sight part here is definitely looks definitely larger on the original. Um, and in a slightly different position. So everything seems slightly different. So I'm not sure why that is. I would have thought that uh, Chewie would have the same bowcaster. Um, I guess uh, unless uh, he's upgraded a, a version or something. Because um, overall there are some sort of minor molding differences. But uh, it's definitely not the same bowcaster as the original. So I'm not sure why that is. Uh, if you do know, uh, leave a comment in the description and uh, let me know. Um, also, the pouch is different. Um, on the original, it's the sort of traditional chewy pouch there with the sort of fake leather look. And on this one, it does look quite different. And again, I haven't gone back to the photos, but I'm assuming this is movie accurate. But um, I have to say, I do prefer the original design. Um, but that's pretty much it uh, for the comparison against... The original Chewbacca um, and I'll just quickly go back through some other points um, for the new figure hold on all right articulation wise as you could see in the uh, 
previous bit. The height is pretty much the same, and that's because I did have the original in that sort of crouching shooting position. So I have bent the legs um, and so on just to give you the, a fair comparison in height. Uh, from a an articulation perspective, I don't think they've changed too much in the overall design of the the body So you do get a pretty damn awesome range of motion um, with the butterfly rotation um, And so this whole suit is uh, I don't know where it's zipped or where it's uh, connected, but um, uh, It's a pretty damn awesome design if you ask me um, to get this sort of fur on a 1-6 scale figure like this. Um, the fur does get a little bit out of control towards his feet and his lower legs. It's uh, very, very long. Um, I think it's I think it's pretty long on the original as well, but just uh, because of its darkness, it doesn't have that sort of um, fluff to it. Um, but uh, this orangey part at the bottom um, and around his torso and arms really is a little bit off-putting, um, I have to say. Um, it does make him look uh, like a di completely different character um, Like this whole The difference between the the dark fur here Transitioning to this orange it just looks like it's uh, suddenly Changed there, so I'm not sure what else you can do to, to fix that um, uh, Apart from maybe applying some sort of powder or, or something to to darken that fur um, but uh, other than that um, The articulation is uh, what you'd expect from the original figure um, and uh, these sort of uh, high-end 1-6 scale figures. Uh, the head rotation, uh, it does have that beautiful um, Chewbacca tilt that I love, um, and the rotation is the, the same as the, the previous figure, um, and you can move it uh, quite a fair way down as well, and he can look up quite a fair way as well. So overall, the articulation is pretty damn good, um, as you'd expect anyway. Um, so that's pretty much it for the figure. Um, so again, um, I can't really complain too much. Um, I was happy with the original trilogy Chewbacca, and I have to say I'm not overly disappointed with this one either. Um, I will be trying to futz around with the the more a little bit there, um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to try and any sort of weird colouring. But um, from the figure that I got, um, I can't say that I'm overly Disappointed. I mean, I don't hate it. I know others absolutely hate this figure um, But uh, from what I can see in front of me right now um, I can't say that I completely hate it um, I think they could have done a better job to improve the likeness particularly after they already had a first go with the a new hope version um, but um, overall um, For the set and what you get for it. Um, I can't complain too much about it um, so hopefully you like that look at Chewbacca um, and can click that uh, subscribe button and stay tuned for my next video which will go through the Han Solo uh, that comes with this uh, two-figure set as well. So hopefully you can stick around for that. Thanks again and I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers.